the expression sine 57 degrees is equal to. So this question is asking whether or not you recall the co-trig function identity, in particular, uh, the relationship between sine and cosine. So let me just quickly recap what this was or what this is. So um, if I have a triangle ABC, and if, um, if those vertices are A, B, and C, then this side here is lowercase a, this side here is lowercase b, and this side here is lowercase c. So I can then say sine of A is equal to A over C, right? Because opposite over hypotenuse. And then we can say cosine of B, so now we're going to be looking for the adjacent side, right? Adjacent side to angle B. What would that be? That would be A, and the hypotenuse would be C. So here we can see clearly that sine A and cosine B are the same. So then we can say sine A and cosine of B is actually the same. Well, what's the relationship between A and B? Well, if this is a this is a right triangle. This wouldn't work if it's not a right triangle. Sine, cosine, tangent, all of those trig ratios would not work if this is if the triangle that we're dealing with is not a right triangle. So what what's the relationship between A and B then? A and B, as it turns out, they're complementary, right? So A plus B must add up to 90, right? Because if A and B add up to 90, if I add another 90, then I would get 180, and that's the sum of all three angles in the triangle. So A and B must equal to 90. A and B must add up to 90, my apologies. So in order for this identity to hold true, A and B must add up to 90. So if I have sine 57, what would that be equivalent to with cosine? Again, A and B must add up to 90. That would be 33, and that would be option two.